Welcome to another fun and colorful edition of a delicious mess from my kitchen outside of Suffolk, Virginia. I'm Missy Lisa, and I'm gonna lead you in a fun recipe for rainbow dumplings honoring June being Pride Month. The recipe that I have permission to use comes from Elizabeth Thompson, whose social media handle is at Farm and Table. And she's really excited to share with us. I'm gonna do the dumpling dough tonight and then leave it to cool overnight and make the filling and the dumplings tomorrow. So I'm gonna make some dumplings that are vegetarian with mushrooms. I did not find cremini mushrooms in my supermarket, so I'm just using Baby Bella's. And some vegetables like cucumber, red Swiss chard, um, chives, cabbage, radicchio, fresh carrots, and garlic. For my meat-filled dumplings, I'm going to use traditional ground pork. Now that I've shown you what I'm gonna fill the dumplings with, I'm gonna take a break and I'll give you the ingredients for the dumpling wrappers and how to make them colorful. I am now all set to make our dumpling dough. Now, I plan to make six colors of dough and each color will include two cups of flour, a half of a teaspoon of salt, and three quarters cup of boiling water with my food dye in it. Now, the Rainbow Dumplings recipe online from Farm and Apron tells you how to make the food dyes with natural ingredients. I'm using regular old food coloring just for simplicity's sake. And I am boiling water on my stove as I measure out my dry ingredients. So I'm gonna put two cups of flour, even that up, one and two. And then I'm gonna need more for flouring my surface and um, in, in the future when I make more colors, of course. So I will do this six times and a half of a teaspoon of salt. Hopefully I can get this salt to come out of my little box. And then I want to make sure that I mix that up nicely. Don't want to have a clump of salt because I have had that happen. So I've got my flour and my salt. And once my water is boiling, I'm going to do three quarter cups of it into this dough. Into this dry ingredients. I'm ready to make my dough. I've got my two cups of flour and a half teaspoon of salt all mixed up. And then I've stirred it to combine. And now I am getting my water that is on the stove boiling. And I'm gonna measure that in my liquid measure to three quarters of a cup. And then I'm gonna pour that into my dry flour and salt. This is looking kind of purpley, not red. Hmm. So I'm gonna incorporate this 
and do a lot of mixing. So I've got my shaggy dough in the bowl and I'm going to roll it out on to my surface. I'm going to just turn and knead it until it becomes sort of smooth and elastic. And then I'm going to stick it into, I'm going to use a plastic bag and put it in the refrigerator for overnight. And then I'm going to make all my other colors. This is supposed to be the red dough. And it's, I guess it's pink. But, you know, we'll work on things. I'm trying to go red, orange, yellow, green, blue. <laughs> but the beauty of making this delicious mess is that even when mistakes happen, it's delicious. This looks really good. This is really nicely incorporated and mixed up. It's not sticking to the surface. That's all a good sign. <laughs> so I'm going to do this five more times with different colors. Are you ready to watch me? I've got my red, orange, yellow, green. Time to do some blue. This is the most labor intensive recipe I have done for a delicious mess yet. I've got six colors. They're not the prettiest. <laughs> they might be the craziest. But I'm going to store them away and make dumpling wrappers tomorrow. I'll fill them and steam them. So I'm going to put together a quick vegetable fill filling for our dumplings. I put some chopped up mushrooms some, I have some carrots and onions and shallots and minced garlic. There's some broccoli and cabbage and um, they're all just sort of in here. And then I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of, of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sesame oil, one, and two, and then a half of a teaspoon of salt. Using soy sauce, I'm always worried about how much salt is in what I'm making anyway, because soy sauce tends to have a lot of sodium. 
a teaspoon of sugar to balance out the salt and two tablespoons of sesame seeds. I'm gonna open this up. So then I'm just gonna mix this up. I might need to um, cut it down farther, but this is just a simple veggie filling and our farm and table um, recipe gives you ideas for what to put in the fillings. I will also make a pork filling, but for purposes of time, we're gonna just do the veggie dumplings. So now I'm gonna let this sort of set to the side, and I'm gonna show you how to roll out our dumpling dough, and then we're gonna steam them. I do not have a bamboo steamer because I don't have a bamboo steamer. I use my pan and my steamer pan. And I cut a circle of parchment and poked holes in it so that the dumplings won't stick to the bottom. I'll fill this with water and set it to boil after uh, so that it's ready to steam the dumplings as soon as they're ready. So I've got the circle rolled out, thinner on the edges, thicker in the middle. In my non-dominant hand, I'm putting a generous amount of vegetables into the dough. Then I'm gonna fold it over, pinch and pleat, and pinch and pleat, and pinch and pleat. I'm really trying, guys. Maybe some of you could make it prettier. I wanna see you guys try this. It's a big challenge, but it's a challenge that can be taken over time. This is kind of what happens when I make pie crust too. I make it like I, I goober it up. It's not as pretty as it should be. But it's a little pillow of vegetables. That's a green one. There is six different colored vegetable dumplings rolled, pinched, and pleated. Now I'm gonna steam them. All right, I've got my steamer pot boiling on the stove with the parchment paper in it. Woo! So I'm gonna take these and stick them in the pot. Steam them for a few minutes and we'll be right back and check them out. I think there's just enough room for all six. So I steamed these guys. I steamed them for 15 minutes and I'm turning off the stove, pulling them out. I realize I made, I made some mistakes. I have room for improvement. I definitely should not have crowded the dumplings in the pan, but 
after 15 minutes, I do have six steamed dumplings, but they kind of stuck together. <laughs> Don't crowd your pan. But look at how brilliant some of the colors turned out. We're celebrating the end of Pride Month here. So we've got some delicious dumplings. Rainbows. Let's see. I'm gonna pull one out. So I cut it in half and see it's steaming. Now, next time I'm gonna definitely roll my dough a lot thinner and I won't crowd the pan like I did, but the filling looks perfectly steamed. Look at how brilliantly green that broccoli and cabbage is. I'm gonna dip it in a little teriyaki sauce just because it's what I had on hand. Mmm. That is delicious. Now who's going to clean up this mess?